Hello, I'd like to talk to you about the Bell Middle School Math Pathways with the two-year advanced focus in this video. Already on the screen, you can see the traditional and one-year advanced um, pathways that we have available. Before I begin, we'll be looking at the two-year advanced route, which would go algebra in seventh grade, geometry eighth grade. Before I show you that, I want to talk about this CAP idea. Idea of CAP is that this is this tool that the um, state has provided us to keep up with the Common Core state standards. What it does is it ensures that students are being taught the same concepts at the same time, allowing for teachers to provide the same amount of rigor to all students. Each CAP is written assuming chronological order. The CAPs are not written to fill in gaps per se. If, if you skip a year, which is what we're going to be looking at in this video here, the CAP then in this next group does not assume that it needs to fill in anything from the years prior. What we're looking at in the sixth grade, you would be coming in at the Math 7 level. From the Math 7, what you would do then, depending on the end of the year, progress, test scores, and teacher recommendation, there are is an opportunity to skip up to algebra. And I say skip because the natural progression would be Math 8. The cap that you're going to be skipping is the year Math 8. You're going to be missing the entire 8th grade year of Math. Um, in algebra class, then algebra cap will assume that you will have learned everything from Math 8. The two years advanced route is not a route that we um, promote as it does end up with um, gaps at times. And so students are having to work extra hard in order to keep up with it. After a successful completion in algebra, the next option then would be going to geometry as an eighth grader. With this option, or this pathway, one thing I want to point out to keep in mind with it, it's almost like a big caution, is that this page called State Testing. Um, PARC is what the district is going to be using starting in 2014-2015 school year. In the past, the state testing, your child has taken the grade level test regardless of whatever current content class was. So if your child was in an advanced math course, they still took the grade level math test. This year and beyond, what's going to happen is they're going to be offering that they are going to be taking the current content class. So if your child, for example, is an enrolled in a math 7 in 6th grade, you will be taking the math 7 park assessment. Not the math six, as in years past, you will be taking the math seven park assessment. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky, is that this asterisk, but you're not allowed to take algebra until eighth grade. That's the algebra park test. Let's look at this. What that means is, if it's not allowed in eighth grade, this is when the algebra test becomes available for um, students on the one-year track. Um, because the one-year track is not um, an uncommon track to take, algebra is being offered at the 8th grade level. Now, the tricky part is that geometry is also available. However, your child in 7th grade is not able to take the algebra test. With these new tests, then, they're still going to be having to take the algebra one, but it looks like they're going to have to take the algebra one after they've taken the algebra course. One more time. In eighth grade, they will be allowed to take the geometry park. That's a great news. You get to, it's fresh in their mind. Um, however, algebra park is still necessary in order to graduate as part of the graduate re graduation requirements. So the algebra park will have to be taken sometime after their seventh grade year, even though they took algebra in seventh grade. So it's one of those that's a little bit concerning in that um, they would be taking the test not at the same time that they're in the content. Um, so we wanted to be sure that when we look at this two-year track, um, this is for a select group of students, and um, there are some uh, cautionary um, things to think about if you are looking for your child to be in this route. After geometry, you would then be taking algebra 2 at the high school.